Live on Fight Box. Fight number six. Weight division plus 93 kilogram. Ladies and gentlemen, blue corner fighter from Moldova, Maxim Bolotov. Molotov, cocktail, Molotov. He dances all the way to the ring. I hope he's not going to let me down. He usually pumps the crowd and gives us some marvellous dance moves that even I, even with my dancing skills, struggle to do. Watch this. Oh, here we go. Do -be -do -be -do. I love this guy's entrance. Look at that. Come on. Well, even my Northern Soul skills. Could I do that? Maybe. Actually, I've done stuff like that. I'm madder. I'm worse. <laughs> Many King of King shows, and here live on Fightbox HD. Facing the man already in the ring in the blue corner as he walks the walk, ready to do the talk of the talk. <laughs> Representing Italy. Luciana Dalilenko. Well, this fight is actually a double whammy because one of these two, if there is any problems in the four-man Grand Prix heavyweight fight later, one of these two could end up stepping in. This is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. King of King rules. One extra round if it goes to the draw. Italy versus Moldova. Maxim Bolitov in the blue corner. Blue gloves, white shorts, trimmed with black writing, etc. 
and in the orange shorts. In the red corner, red gloves. Another formidable looking guy representing Italia, Lucian Danilenka. Ball fighters in orthodox stance, that's left guard. Like I said, Maxim Bolotov, Molotov. He is not unfamiliar at all to fighting in KOK. And FEA and the Eagles shows here in Moldova and indeed around the world. And I've noticed there in the corner, you've got Giorgio Petrosian's trainer and Giorgio Petrosian in the corner. Now, the trainer of the Italian fighter is a, a friend of mine from many years ago. He's not here today, so all these guys are helping out. It's Carlo Babuto. Coming from a good gym. But he certainly has got a good corner team behind him now. Giorgio Petrosian, famous, famous fighter. But it's inside these four ropes in the square ring. And these two big, heavy guys are going at it toe to toe. You can hear those shots all over this fabulous Manage Arena here in Kishno, the capital of Moldova. We're live on Fight Box HD. Thanks for joining us around the world. 35 countries tuned in right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a great show. Already we've had some amazing fights and it's not even halfway through. This is fight number six. Nice combination from Maxim. But Lucien stood there right in front of him and he's going nowhere. Well, those ropes just about held up there for the 205 kilograms that we've got in the ring that's fighting at the moment. Oof, big shots. Well, the 10 second hammer goes down for this first round. And it's been a nice, clean fight so far. Three minutes of solid action from both guys as they take a deep breath, a deservedly deep breath as they go back to the corner. Giorgio patrols in there inside the ring, giving him some of his wealth of experience. And Andre Grossu, the gentleman in the blue corner, great trainer, fighter, and fabulous, one of my favorite referees. And our lovely ring girls again to give everyone a little bit of femininity and a little bit of a smile. But here is some of the slow motion action of these two. Oh, beautiful axe kick missing the mark. Well, that's what makes Maxime Bolotov what I call him the Molotov cocktail because he brings us a real mixture of techniques. Nice footwork movement there to get away from the turning back kick. So, KOK, okay, okay. King of Kings, in association with Fighting Entertainment Association, FEA and Eagles, here live on Fightbox HD in Kishnor. Manaj Stadium in Moldova. If you've just joined us, we've already had five fights. We've just started the sixth, one round gone, second round in. Three three-minute rounds of K1-style kickboxing fight action. Two big guys here in the ring now, these heavyweights. One of these possibly in the four-man tournament later, if there is any injuries where something happens, so it's a reserve fight. Oh, nice spinning hook kick wraps round this foot round the ear of the Italian. And again, great matchmaking from our promoters. Oh. 
Damia Dorin and Donatus Simonitis have put this great King of Kings show together. And the matchmaking has been, so far for me, absolutely perfect. Whoa, spinning back fist lands clean on the Italian's head, but he takes it. What a tough Italian, grits his teeth and comes forward. Takes that shot really well. And when you're talking 100 plus kilos spinning round with a 10 ounce glove, you know you've been hit. Well, the Molotov cocktail exploded there. And a spinning up kick from the Italian. Oh, and a take one, he catches one back with the chin. This is turning out to be like a lightweight show. What I'm talking about when I say a lightweight, I'm on about the speed of a lightweight. But these are heavyweights. Fast, powerful, all action here, ringside. And these two big guys, Moldova versus Italy. What a great contest. This for me is a great performance from both guys. Both out to impress the judges and each other. They both take a big deep breath and rightfully so because it has been nothing but all action. Look at this. Ooh, again that spinning back fist. Stamina is tested but takes a knee, he goes down. Just on the blind side of the referee, but he's up. It's just a little flash knocked down, didn't catch him clean. Maxim Bolotov versus this guy from Italy. First time I've had the pleasure to watch him, Lucian Danilenko, who's come here to fight from Italy. Certainly has given us a great performance. Well, what a good second round that was. The crowd are clapping, applauding, appreciating both fighters here. They are a seasoned, professional, absolutely well-educated crowd. As the ring girls mince round the ring, we see some of the slow motion action here. Look at that, the spin up kick, but then watch, he gets one back. Boom. Showing his dexterity. Maxim Bolotov, look at that. And there's the heel kick round the back of the neck. That could have been light soaked. Well, this has been an absolute fabulous heavyweight match. Six minutes of non-stop bish, bosh, bash from these two big heavyweights. Three minutes left. And again, don't blink. These two guys go at it straight from the bell. Will this go the full nine minutes or will we see an extra round? Attempting the jumping knee, the Italian. Oh, nice left hook as he walks in. Side kick comes there from Maxi, showing again the flexibility and the dexterity of his techniques. Oh, jumping knee. Oh, and a big left up. This Italian has took some heavy shots, but keeps coming forwards. He is not going away soon. Representing Italy really well here tonight, this man. Takes shots as he comes in to land one. But Maxim Bolotov keeps pummeling away. And you can see there, there's blood coming down the side of the face. So the front of the face of the Italian, where he's had a result from those punches and knees. This is a real war again from these heavyweights. Both guys gasp for air, and understandably. Maxine points at his opponent, saying, look, I've caught you. But he isn't going away. He keeps coming forwards. Takes one, lands one. The knee comes up again. And the referee just wanted to the clinch. Oof, big right again. Blood pours down from the 
between the eyes down the nose of the Italian. And the referee is letting it carry on, which is good. As long as if the blood goes into the eye door, the referee will stop it, get the blood wiped off. But this Italian certainly has come to fight, giving Maxi Bolotov one of the fights of the night. For me, of the heavyweights, I'm sure that we'll see later this could be. You never know. It's a reserve fight, but I'll tell you what, this could have been in, in the Grand Prix itself. Oh, beautiful left eye kick there from Maxim. Goes for that knee again. 20 seconds left. The Italian, like I said, is not going away. 10 second hammer goes down. Spinning heel kick again, just catching him a little bit too far round. Oh, big shots right on the bell. What a great fight. Well, read the body language. Both fighters slump to the corners, but there's a little bit more uprightness coming from the man from Moldova. I think personally he's got that. But, and there's always a but, the red corner representing its area. Lucian Danny Lankov has come here and gave an amazing display of what King of Kings is all about. Bing, bang, bong, bish, bash, crash, in they go. The kicks, the knees, the punches. Signs of war there on the Italian's face, but it did not stop him coming forward. A real gladiator. We have a decision any moment. And we just, Kuzmenka, the man with the fabulous shiny suit. Here we go. By official decision, after three rounds, the winner is. Well, Italian complains, shakes his head, but I think it was the right decision personally. It was close, but I won't disagree with the judges. I will not disagree. I mean, Italian did give a great account. He should be very pleased with that. He shakes his head still as he goes to his corner. But I do believe that was the right decision. I am not mean, I am totally like the judges here, unbiased. And I believe he just edged it in that third round. So win back for Moldova again. Commiserations to the Italian, but congratulations to Maxim. The Molotov, Molotov cocktail, great, well done.